Hey guys, welcome back to The Gun Collective. My name's Genevieve and I am here at the range with John today. I am super excited. I'm holding the very brand new Henry Garden Gun. And first, before I even begin to say anything else, like how cool is this wood? I'm obsessed. It's kind of got a greenish hue to it, which is my favorite. I'm, I'm really down for this. So what we're gonna be doing today is testing out a couple different rounds in this gun. This has a smooth bore as opposed to a rifled barrel. So we are going to do two things. We're gonna shoot some 22 hollow points, which are not necessarily meant for this gun, so it'll be curious to see what happens. And we also have just some 22 shot shells, and we're going to shoot both of those into the gel block and get you guys a baseline in another Henry rifle that does have the rifled barrel. So let's check it out. I'm so excited. I'm putting that in there. <laughs> or I have Izzy putting that in there. All right. TACPAC is an enthusiast subscription service that is focused on bringing you the stuff you need straight to your door on a monthly basis. Every month is different and you can be met with gun parts, accessories, cleaning gear, or even some bigger and cooler shenanigans. And because you're watching TGC, if you use the code TGC knife, you'll get a free ABKT knife. And if you use the code TGC break, you will get a free muzzle break only when you punch them in over at TACPAC.com. All right, guys, we've got the Federal 22 Hunter match in here. Let's see what happens to the gel. You ready? Send it. It looks like that one went clear through. Neat. <laughs> oh, wait, no, we captured it. All right, oh, we did? Cool. cool. Alrighty, now we've got the shot shell in here. It's a 12 shot. Let's see what happens for our baseline. You ready? Send it. Oh my God. That was cool. Save it, save it, save it. Got it. <laughs> hey, Genevieve, can you talk us through what's going on here? So, I mean, you can see all of the the little pellets yeah. there yeah they all went about to right here on the gel so that's what maybe like two three inches at most so they're all about two three inches at most into this gel block here all the little pellets that is a little bit disappointing if i have to say yeah that didn't do much at all and we're at what five yards yeah and then we've got that other projectile way back here that one was quite impressive almost to the end of the block all right, let's, let's cut that out real quick, that one in the back. All right. So this is the 22 hollow point that we shot into the gel block. We took it out about an inch from the back, so it went through pretty much the entire block, which was quite impressive. Yeah, that's interesting. It's a, probably a 14 inch block is what we usually get, so mm -hmm. that's probably about 13 inches of penetration, and it actually expanded nicely. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually impressed with that little bullet. Little mushroom. All right, and the <laughs> shot shell was a pathetic mess yeah. in comparison. Let's see what happens with the smooth bore. Woo. Ready? Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the Henry Garden gun. This is the one with the smooth bore, and we've got the hunting hollow point in there right now, so let's see what this does. I wanna see if this thing even stabilizes. Ready? Three, two, one. Let me go see. Did you get it? It looks like it's in there. Clear? It's definitely in there. Yeah, you're clear. All right, guys, so I have the shot shell rounds in here, and I am expecting a tighter group because they're actually made for the four gun. So let's see what happens. Tell me when. Send it. It definitely, uh, it, it looks like it, it's a tighter group of them. Like these are more spread out here. Yeah, these are a little bit more spread out. These look like a, a tighter cluster of them. Still not what I would call quote unquote tight, but you can see pretty good from the front. So it does, it does appear to be a tighter group as you guys can hopefully see on there. However, it did not 
penetrate the gel any so more than the it same, did yeah. out of the other gun. And which you can, you can see I, those I, I here. I don't know. I guess I was expecting it to be kind of similar. They both went about three inches max into the gel here, but this one definitely does have a tighter group. So I would definitely call that more effective if you're using that kind of ammo. And we're starting to lose light uh, with the clouds. The why don't you round, Why don't you cut that out? Yeah, yeah. It went about the same exact distance as the other one, which I thought. Which was is interesting. interesting. Go here. It's so hard to see in this light. There you are. Come to me. <laughs> Arts and crafts with John Patton from the Gun Collective. Where's the other one? I had it on the table. Here it is. Oh, look at that. Check that out, guys. How so did that even happen? One mushroomed. This was completely unstable, so it ended up flying backwards. <laughs> look at and that. That's that's why you uh, definitely want to use the appropriate tool for the job, right? It's a second angle, so you can see the cluster of shots kind of in here. Make sure I got it in focus. That's pretty cool. Spin the block around, and we'll see if we can get the same shot. Obviously this one's a little hacked up, but you can see where the rounds went in there. Cool. What do you think? That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I've actually, I've never seen anything like this before, so I think that's really fascinating. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do this sort of test with the same, almost exact same gun. You know, shout out to Henry for hooking us up yes. with the garden gun. That's I pretty cool. I love that thing. I really do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't have it. I'm good. <laughs> All right. You can tell me how to live my life, John. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wrap up the video. All right, you guys, so I hope that you enjoyed that video. I really enjoyed making it. I mean, anytime that I get to come out to the range on a beautiful day, despite all the wind noise, I'm a happy camper. So please like, subscribe, let us know what you think in the comments below. If you didn't like it, hit that thumbs down button. And we'll see you on the next one. semi-automatic lever single shot rifles <laughs> all right now this time we're going to put the shot shell in there it's a ah! <laughs> wait there's a blooper <laughs>